Hey guys, in this video, we are going to create our own uh, brush stroke frames. I know I left templates for you in the tutorial I did the other day on making these uh, brush stroke designs in Canva, but I thought to myself, you know, you might be looking at my templates going, hmm, I just don't really like these frames and I'd really like to have some that look different. So I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make your own brush stroke frames so you can do your own templates. All right. So that's what we're doing in this video. And I'm going to just get rid of this page quick because we are not working with that. And I have a blank canvas here. And what we're going to do is come over here to elements and we're going to search for brush stroke. Okay. And you can look at the photos. You can look in the graphics. It doesn't matter which. I'm going to look here in the graphics and I'm just going to look for a brush stroke pattern that I like. And I think I like this one here. So I'm going to turn this 90 degrees. And we are just going to enlarge it so it fits our canvas and once we do that we are just going to come over here share download download as a transparent background PNG okay now you do need the pro account to download a transparent background um, I will if you don't have the pro account you can download this and then upload it to a program like remove BG to uh, get rid of your background before we move on to the next step. So I'm just going to call this brush stroke and that is downloaded. So now we're going to go over here to photo P photo P is a free program. It's an online photo editor. It's pretty basically a clone of Photoshop. So and this is 100% free. It is ad supported. I do have a premium account here, but you don't need it in order to do this process. All right. So once you're at photo P, I'm just going to go up here to my download history and I'm going to grab that brush stroke that we just made and I'm going to drag it in here to photo P. And it has opened up here for us as an image with a transparent background, which is exactly what we wanted. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here to your layers area and you are going to hold down your control key on your keyboard, or if you're on a Mac, it will be your command key, but you're going to hold that in and then click right here on your layer. And what that does is select the whole brush stroke image. Okay. Once we've done that, we'll come over and we will click on the paths tab and you're going to go down to the bottom and you are going to click on the one. It's a circle with the little handlebars that is selection to path. So you're going to click on selection to path. Now we have a work path and you can see that our brush stroke is outlined in blue now. All right. The next step is to just come over here to the layer, click on layer, scroll down to vector mask, and then select current path. And that has created a mask on top of our shape. All right. And once you do that, the only thing left is to come to file, export as PDF, make sure the rasterize and vectorize is unticked. You don't want those selected and just click save. Now I'm going to just let this named brush stroke, make sure it is a PDF file and click save. Once that's done, we just come right back to Canva. We're going to delete this brush stroke off of our canvas that we were working on. 
I'm going to click on my projects folder over here on the left and again I'm going to come up here to my download history and I'm going to grab that brush stroke PDF and I'm going to drag it right over there into my projects. Now I'm going to click on it and bring that in here to my work panel, to my canvas. Right click it, scroll down and select detach image. And that's it. You now have your own custom brush stroke. And now you can make copies of this to create, you know, your four panel design. Select all four of these, space evenly, tidy up, and there you go. You have all four panels completely done just like that. And like I said, you can make these in any shape, any photo here. It doesn't matter whether it's a photograph or a graphic, you can use it. So any brush stroke pattern you find on here that you like, you can use it. It works just fine. You can even go to Mid Journey if you wanted to. And you could type in brush stroke silhouette clip art white background and have Mid Journey um, generate some brush strokes for you if that's what you want. And here you see we've gotten different ones. In fact, I really like this one with the head silhouette. That is fantastic. I would probably save that and use this. Um, in fact, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back to Canva. I'm going to add a new page here. I'm going to paste that image in. Once it's uploaded, I'm going to hit remove background because that is a really, really cool silhouette. And I'm just going to do this again, just so you can see one more time how easy it is to do it. And this is something we just generated in mid journey, brought into Canva, removed the background. So again, we're going to share, download. We are only going to download the current page, page two transparent background and we will download this and I'm just gonna call that woman and again we'll go back over here to photo P we're gonna drag this in I'm gonna hit control on our keyboard while control is held in we are gonna click on our layer and it has selected all of our silhouette there. Paths down here, selection to path. Everything is blue. Layer, vector mask, current path. And then again, we will save it, export as PDF. Save. And then just like last time, we'll go back to Canva, open our projects folder, drag that PDF right over there to our projects folder, because that is where a PDF will upload to. It will not upload to your normal upload folder. Once it's uploaded, I'm going to click it, bring it back out here to my canvas, right click it, detach image. And now we have that woman custom frame and let's see let's just pop that in we can put anything in here just like any other frame so that's how easy it is to make your own brush stroke frame so if you want to do those brush stroke designs but you want a bunch of different 
uh, brushstroke styles, you can easily make them yourself. All right. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, drop them below. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great night.